Hi guys, I'm Philip. Today I'm going to share this uh, ergonomics chair with you. And I used to sit there. Now I'm sitting here. And I don't want to go back there because I'm feeling really good right here. This ergonomics chair offers me so many adjustabilities that bring me so much joy and comfort. So I would tell you I would just discard this chair and tell you something about my new ergonomic chair. Okay, ergonomics. So uh, as I said to you, this chair is about adjustability. And we all know when it comes to chair, one size does not fit all. So adjustability is the key to our comfort. So uh, first I will introduce you this headrest. It's height adjustable, which means I can sit on the chair while pull it up and press it down. And this is not all about the chair. We have so much to say. Next thing is this lumbar support. Okay, so as you may imagine, I can pull it up when I sit on the chair and lower it down as well. It has several positions, uh, just like locking spots where you can leave the lumbar support in, leave the lumbar support at where you feel comfortable. So uh, if you are a driver, you know what I'm saying. We you know, sit too long, too much time in a day. So having a really uh, strong and good lumbar support is very important to the health of our waist, our lumbar. So uh, the third part is the two arm rests. And they are very impressive to me because they're not only height adjustable, you know, as they do, the headrest and the lumbar support, they are height adjustable. The armrest, height adjustable, and they are depth adjustable. So I can, you know, yeah, move it backward, push it forward, and I can pivot inward and pivot outward. So these two armrests give me so much, uh, so so much adjustability, uh, adjustability. Mm, so I always feel my two arms comfortable. You know, uh, one thing that I have to share with you is that uh, I used to sit there. You know, the average chair, and I have to put my arm in such a position where uh, the, the fingers and the elbow are not in a line. Yeah, they're not, they're not con uh, parallel to the floor. So my you know, blood does not go up to my finger, which results in my finger feeling numb. But right now, with this uh, two armrests, I, uh, I can always make sure that my arm is uh, parallel to the floor and while I operate, while I, you know, move the mouse. So this is very good for my health. And then uh, this part, the seat, you know, it can move forward and backward as well. And I just need to, yeah, flip this paddle up. Yeah, flip this paddle upward and I can move it. Forward. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now. So with my right hand flip the paddle up, the seat goes back automatically. And if I want to move it forward, I just pull it up and let the paddle down. It is fixed. Okay. And uh, now we've come to this part. So I feel like it's. Uh, appropriate to show you what uh, what this do okay what this does so first as you see this is a knob you can uh, twist it forward and twist it backward so this is the part that you you can uh, fix or position the lumbar support or the degree of your tilt of the back tilt so now I am leaning back okay reclining 
and I want uh, this, I want the back rig line to fix at this angle. I just need to, you know, twist it backward and it's locked. So when I am back, the, the, the back rig line doesn't go back with me, right? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you get me, but you've seen the image and you know what I'm saying. And if I want to make it go back, what do I do? I can twist it forward, but it doesn't go back. I need to release it by leaning back on it again. Okay, it's back. So this part, this side, uh, we have a paddle uh, and a knob as well. The paddle is for you to lift up the seat. Uh, the, the, the average uh, chair may have this feature as well. They only have this uh, adjustability, but this chair has so much more, as you see. So uh, now I guess I have to sit here and flip it upward. Now I'm lower, I've lowered down the seat and I need to flip upward and the seat go up. And the last part, oh, not the last part, uh, this knob, this knob, this knob is for you to adjust uh, the resistance of your back tilt, your back brake line. So now I am leaning back and I feel the resistance is not strong. What do I do? I twist this knob forward and I am increasing the resistance of this uh, back recline, back uh, tilt. So now, yeah, I'm not feeling that much of resistance. So I think I will need to add more resistance. Okay. So, wow, yeah, see, you see, I'm leaning, I'm, I'm, I'm try, trying to lean back, but now this is the degree that I can go. If I wanna go a little bit uh, down uh, back, uh, so what do I do? I have to twist it backward so I can go a little bit deeper, okay? So uh, that's all about this knob and the, uh, the paddle beside the knob, this paddle I've told you, but I, I think I, I haven't said anything about your foot rest or your leg rest, okay? And this is a, a button if you want to, this, this fo uh, foot rest or leg rest is foldable. If you want to unfold it, first you need to press the button down and you can un unfold it, okay? That's what you do. And now you have it. So with, uh, with it, I'm going to show you my, uh, my very comfortable position. First I twist it forward to uh, loosen the, the resistance of my uh, back tilt and I unfold it. I've unfolded the foot rest. So right now I'm ready to, uh, to lean back and with my body fully stretched. So uh, we sit too long in a day and sometimes we just need to stretch our body so as to relax it. Okay, just like this. Uh, wow, this, you know, this offers me great comfort. I hope you can enjoy it as well. Okay, so that's all about this ergonomics chair. And I have another uh, version, which is more automatic than this one. I'll show you later.